Hey guys, welcome back. Delod here, back to Big Ambitions, Early Access Point 4. We last left off at the end of Day 25. We are currently sitting at 11.44 on Day 26. We are going to be heading back into uh, the office, so to speak. And when you last saw me, I had finally turned a profit. A real profit, five hundred sixty-five dollar profit. We, uh, I think we are going to be moving forward finally, instead of just hitting a brick wall consistently. But we should be able to start considering opening a new business, and uh, this will allow us to start generating even more profit. Now we added expensive gifts near the uh, end of the last video and as you can very well plainly see we made quite a profit and that's with undercutting the price as well by the way so we made one thousand eight dollars of revenue from expensive gifts 420 nice of cheap gifts and soda gave us forty three dollars and fifty cents as you can see here so Comparing to, let's see, day 22, I think this is the last date, day, excuse me, that I compared. And although we sold less cheap gifts, let's see, what did we, yeah, we spent $149.57 and made 420 So we made a good profit off of cheap gifts this time. But expensive gifts, man oh man, they are by and large the bread and butter of this uh store of course which i mean that obviously makes sense i mean they they cost way way more as you can see here we're selling cheap gifts for $17.50 but expensive gifts are at $31.50 market price is 32 so like i said i'm i'm undercutting 50 cents each whatever but that's going to draw business because we are competing and we're in, again in garment district we're competing with i believe four other or three other stores so yeah there's four businesses total which includes ours but there's there's three competitors both in expensive gifts and cheap gifts if we start undercutting them which we've done obviously that should bring on more customers and i believe we should see that reflected here so although our best day is still day 20 with 39 customers, we only had cheap gifts on that day. So we didn't, we didn't make any money really, but we are still drawing in 35 customers um, on our last day. Again, we have an hour capacity of 15 currently, which is the most that our building can do. But yeah, making that money, hopefully, uh, as the days move forward, we could start making a bit more per day, but as it stands right now, we should consider where where we want to make a new business and what type of business that is. Now, I do recall, wow, wow. Really, dude? Just straight up right into me. Didn't even give a damn. Very rude. Also, pro parallel park. Anyway, we did kind of decide that the best, you know, the next best option would be going for a fast food store or fast food joint. And I, I think that still is the better option overall, simply because they generate so much profit. Because the, the items are really cheap, like french fries and burgers, really, really inexpensive. The only problem I can foresee, at least at the moment, is it's it's got a taller entry uh, commitment. The, the prices of the the appliances that we need are, are pretty high, if I remember correctly. I'll have to double check that once we have the ability to here, but um, I do recall the prices for like the grills and whatnot they're pretty expensive anyway let's skip time here let's move on we've seen this before let's get the store cleaned up 
Oh, it looks like I'm in like super low energy mode because you know me. I don't even <laughs> I don't even eat food, apparently. I'm gonna run out of energy here real quick. Let's just get this cleaned up. Okay, perfect. If we can get to oh that sucks. If we can get to the appliance store before it closes, then we can see how much those appliances are and you know where we need to go with setting that up for the the new business. But we still also need to figure out where where we're going to place it. Literally, physically going to put our our business at. I'm thinking that it might be smart, at least in the onset. To consider the garment district still just because this is our our home district we do want to uh, I guess technically stick in the same area just so we're not trying to you know run goods from one side of the town to the other but it won't hurt to potentially explore you know Hell's Kitchen and whatnot but it will be more expensive to get into those buildings Perfect. Oh, that's the food market. They are closed. Okay. Alrighty then. Alright, let's just consider it a day here. We'll we'll fast forward here. We'll wake up at ten. And that way we can hit the appliance store first. Look at that. You made more profit. This is great. This is awesome. $635.18. Perfect. Let's hit that appliance store real quick. Let's see what the entry cost would be. Renting a building is not expensive, thankfully. I mean, it is expensive The you know, when you really look at it, but in terms of the gameplay and the mechanics and whatnot, it's not expensive. So, thankfully, we could snag a building, rent the space... And then we can consider, you know, what the cost would be for getting in and whatnot. All right, so freezer, salad bar. We could consider a salad bar. So that's four grand. I'm not even sure how many people that could serve. And, you know, come to think of it, we need to be at a different location. I forgot this location does not have the proper appliances. So we need to hit the map here. Let's check out where is the appliance store. So we got one there. Aha. So we were actually closer to it. So we just need to take a left and head all the way back down. All right. Let's do that. And let's break the law while we're doing it. Yeah. So yeah, this other appliance store that we're heading to should have all the industrial, I guess probably the better term actually is commercial grade appliances, though everything is technically commercial grade at this point since we're dealing with businesses. But yeah, this place should have much more available to us. Yeah, AJ Peterson, or would that be Pedersen? I don't know. I'm going to say Peterson. Let's head on in. See, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so industrial grill, $1,400. We're not doing a coffee place, but that's really expensive. Twelve grand. We would need cabinets, obviously. There's also a hot dog grill. That's $2,200. So if, to be safe, depending on our space, you know, we would need probably two. Two. So two of each. There's also a pizza oven. You could do a pizza as well. That's 10 grand. There's your fryer. I mean, generally speaking, you probably want your your uh, fast food place to serve all the food options. 
but it doesn't have to be that way to begin with because we're already looking at, you know, 2,800 for these two, 4,400 here. So we're already, you know, we're already like seven grand deep and then another 4,400. That's pretty expensive. Almost 12 grand total. And then again, we have to do, you know, the cabinets. We have to have stocking shelves, which we don't have at our gift store yet. Not these pallet shelves. These are for warehouses. Talk about these guys right here. Storage shelves. It's just easier to store goods. But you're also going to have to look at, you know, restaurant booths or tables and chairs. Like, people need to eat and, and sit down and eat and have a place to sit and eat. Oh, this is neat. I haven't seen this stuff yet. Dance floors, huh? Coat checks. This is all pretty cool. I haven't seen these things yet. Stage lights, disco balls, DJ booths, classic loudspeakers. That's the other thing. I need to get some speakers. But yeah, I mean, you're looking at a, a much higher entry cost in order to get a fast food place going. And that's really, honestly, compared to the next tier of, of businesses, it's not that much. But it is a leap compared to the gift shop by far. Gift shop is 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 much more reliable in terms of its entry cost. Pretty easy to get to, but let's let's table this for now. Let's talk to this person. Now I should be able to because I just talked to him. I didn't buy anything. I should be able to go to contacts and look at that. There they are. Now I can call them instead of coming in and it'll give me a list of everything they have. It's really straightforward and easy. It's nice actually. So we can now head to the gift shop. We're on the right street. Yeah, we are. I know I still have an hour, but what I'm going to do here is give you a little bit of a fast forward it's gonna be a little short jump obviously but we're gonna go until the end of the day so i'll see you here in just a moment all right welcome back guys so just so you are aware another full day of profit 693 dollars of profit now Thankfully, that's still moving strong. That's what we want to see. We're closed today, too, so we don't have to worry about going to work or anything like that at the moment. However, we do have a couple things to consider. So, first thing to consider is the new retail space for our fast food restaurant. I was taking a gander at the options here, uh, again, in the garment district. So, we're sticking to this green square, essentially. And I'm thinking the best option is going to be either this location or this location. Now, notice they both have a capacity of 30 each. Remember, ours has a capacity for 15 when it comes to the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't know why I clicked that. 15, like I said, when it comes to our per hour capacity. The traffic at this location here is 50. This one's 39. So I'm really thinking this is going to be the best option. 225 meters square of uh, space, which is a pretty decent size. But that leaves us room to have counters for the registers and for the appliances that we need, as well as the space for tables, chairs, uh, trash cans, stuff like that. So... We're going to need to have all those things because people need to throw away their stuff when they're done eating and whatnot. Again, we don't we don't know for sure if we're going to start with pizza as well as, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, salad, even stuff like that. I think I might stick with just the hot dogs, the hamburgers, fries and probably salads as well. Um. It's four things that we'll have to buy and keep stocked, but we should be moving them out pretty handily. Now, the next thing we need to consider is I've been covering 
shifts, obviously, at our at our store, which means if I'm not going to be working there, we need to hire another employee that can cover the rest of the, the week's shifts. Now, it could be a couple employees, even if we really wanted to. They could all be part timers, for instance. But right now, let's look at our biz man. And our schedule is so right now Granger is working five hours a day from seven to twelve. Every day she works, Monday through Saturday. And this leaves us with eight hours to cover. So we can't have a full timer working six days a week at eight hours a day. However, we can have two part timers working six hour or six days a week at four hours a day, for instance. Now, it's not ideal that one person, well, that anyone has to work six days a week. Everyone should get two days, you know, two days off a week. But for now, you know, we, we could situate it that way. We could also change it to, you know, six hour work shifts, five days a week. We can only max out at 30 hours per week for a part timer. So we have to definitely consider that. We might actually do that. I think that makes the most sense. But at the moment, we also need to consider the cost that we'll be facing by adding another employee. So we go to our econo view, we go to Dillard's gifts. So we made $1,760 and 40 cents in revenue, but our salaries were $190. That's just for five hours. So imagine adding in, you know, she's currently making what, $38 an hour. Not too bad, but I mean, as it stands, let's get a calculator going here. I mean, we could see this rise up all the way over $600 per day. So that'll eat into this. So our profit would, you know, dramatically be reduced down to uh, probably around like 500 something again for just the the location and that's not counting the other expenses we have so our daily profit overall is probably going to be down to like two 200 something so 300 if we're lucky so i think the the first step we should do right now is just snag this spot here I get daily rent $81, so it's going to be $81 it's going to add on. We still have to pay these costs here, so we're looking at uh, an entry of uh, $2,677 for the deposit and appliances, and then another $81. So about $2,750 something. Let's rent the building. Just snag it up right now. Now we can... Uh... Oh, ooh. I did not consider that. All right, that's fine. Are they open? They are. All right. Let's go learn. But yeah, we we should uh. Actually, before we head over there, can we actually call them? Are they open? They are not. Will it tell us if I try to call? No. Okay. So I'll have to wait till Monday to to call for some new employees. But let's start with what's that. Let's let's get some new employees in. We can literally just have people working just to see how much money we'll be making per day, and then we can adjust accordingly. All right. So I have. I know it's closed. I just want to. You're not going to tell me. Okay. So it's 24 hours total learning time to uh, graduate, so to speak. And I've just done 10 hours and 44 minutes, so got another 13 hours and what, 16 minutes or something like that. Not too bad. 
Let's just call it a day. All right, since we have time, I think it'll be smart. Well, first things first, let's contact Anderson Recruiting. They are currently open. So we want to hire some more customer service, part-time or full-time. Let's do, let's do six candidates. I'll give you six days to respond to that. And you know, we don't have a cleaning person yet. Customer service people can clean. They're just not very good at it. I don't know what the impact of that is in the gameplay stance. I really don't know, but they definitely are not very good at it. I could have everyone, for instance, clean throughout the day, but for now, I think I'll probably choose one person to kind of clean up, maybe even figure out, you know, a way to, I'm not sure really. I mean, the big thing is, is cleaning up at the beginning or the end of the day. So I'll just have to figure out something in that regard and see, you know, what, what can we do but for now? Let's, let's get six candidates. Let's give them six days to get it. So it's $1,500. Uh, well, let's, let's shoot for, mm. I still want some part-timers. Let's just do that for now. Let's hope that we might see a full-timer with a decent salary request. Perfect. Okay. Let's go to school. Now, once we hire some people on, we should really consider either starting that business as soon as we can and like i mentioned just sucking it up and getting less than 30 you know the capacity per hour that way we can at least get the business started and start making money from it all right so i really only have let's go till there so let's add another three hours on Skip time. We're almost there. We have nine hours left, so that's not too bad. We are obviously losing money as well for every hour. As soon as we get this schooling done, we are going to hopefully just take off that's when the money starts really rolling in when you have multiple businesses it just really starts building up oh you son of a gun why did you stop ai is so dumb i swear Let's quickly, mm. let's just get in. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, let's skip time. Hopefully I don't run out of energy. Nice. Wow. Awesome. All right, let's clean. See, this is what I'm talking about. At the end of the day, it's it's so dirty. And if you have a dedicated cleaning person, I mean, they're just like customer service people. They don't start with 100% capability. No one starts with 100% capability. At least I've never seen it. You always have to train up your employees, which is fine. It costs money, whatever. That's just, that is the way it is. That's real life right there. The big thing about that, though, is... When you start really getting your businesses going, you're going to be able to handle training multiple people at the same time, cost wise. And on top of that, you'll get HR managers, which allows you to train people while they're working. So like they're doing, on, you know, on site training, essentially speaking. But for now, we have to unfortunately focus at an individual at a time. I mean, we can do multiple people at once, but. 
that's how it works. You're just you're focusing focusing on one person. You know, with their training while everyone else works. So, at the start, it seems a little slow with training and getting people adequate for their position. But thankfully, it, it does. Like I said, it picks up. It it really does. And we'll be swimming in employees. I think in my last playthrough, I had like, jeez, I don't I don't even know something like. 12, 12 to 15, I can't remember exactly, HR managers and almost every single one was at max employees. So it gets pretty crazy. And you know, then you have to worry about health insurance and I just kind of said screw it and gave everyone gold health insurance. So some of them will ask for bronze, some will ask for silver. I just, I didn't feel like dealing with that. <laughs> so I just did gold for everybody. but. You could, if you really, really wanted to, I guess, uh, you know, have different HR managers with different tiers of of health insurance so that you could just cover the, the minimums for what people want. But will I probably do that? Probably not. Because you just make so much damn money per day. I mean, you'll get to the point where you're making so much money that you have to invest it or else you lose it. Because the tax man's going to be coming, and he's going to want your money, and he's going to take a giant chunk of your money. Every single time. It's too bad you don't, you know, in the game at least, see the benefits of getting taxed. And, you know, some people will always argue that, you know, you don't, <laughs> you don't see the benefits of taxation ever, but... We're not going to talk about that, because that's not what this channel's about. All right, almost done with training. Just a few hours left, thankfully. Let's get back to work. All right, I will see you guys at the end of the day and we will discuss any candidates we get. See you here in a little bit. All right, welcome back. So we have three candidates currently, all part-timers. Now notice that they all want 40 or more per hour. So already, if we're going to consider doing, you know, six hours per day, for instance, let's just look at, uh, what a weird name. Sample Jakes. Sample Jakes. Well, anyway, Sample Jakes wants $45 an hour. We'll do six hours. So that's $270 that he is going to want per day that we work him or her. I really don't know. Sample is not a name I would ever name anyone. Anyway. Jacob or Charles. There, it's it's gonna be less per day, obviously, but forty dollars an hour. So two forty, two forty. Um, if we look at our schedule, let's just pretend. So if we were open seven days a week, we would have to cover thirteen hours per day. So that's ninety-one hours per week. And if we have three employees, oof, that's, that's literally going to push it. That's going to be 30.333 <laughs> repeating hours per employee. So that tells me that it probably makes the most sense on Sunday. Let's just be open at eight. So if we're open... Yeah, 90 hours a week. Divided by three employees. Perfect. So that would leave enough time off, like enough time for two people to be off, 
or for everyone to be off, excuse me, two days a week. Can't really think at the moment. It's still 9.24 a.m. for me. All right. So let's go ahead and let's snag. I don't know. You know what? We get seven days. Let's let's just keep going until we get all the candidates. Let's not jump the gun quite yet. Let's wait until we get all the candidates. That way we can see exactly what we're working with. And hopefully the next three candidates, because we have three more to go, hopefully they ask for less per hour. But if they don't, then we'll just... We'll get Charles and Jacob, I think. You can already see profit is, is, is it's gone down. So there's definitely a, a problem here. We might as well take a gander at what's going on. So if we go to account of view, yeah, we're not making we're not making enough at the moment. So why is that? And the interior score is still hurting us. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. I really want to get my education. But, unfortunately, I believe we need to pick up some goods first. So, hopefully, we can get there in a timely manner. Let's just... We're going to break the law again. You know, we're in New York. You know, People drive like nutsos anyway. Actually, I, I don't honestly know how people drive there. I've only been there once. And it was just traffic jams the entire time, so. Can you really call that driving? Probably not. But we'll... We'll get there. We'll just sneak by this guy right here and hopefully sneak through in here. Yep, there it is. Oop. And they open at 8 o'clock. That is frustrating. Alright, so I'm going to get this purchased and get to the store and then go back to the business school. And I will pick up from there with you guys. So, see you in a second. Alright, guys. So, as you can see, I've already ended the day. I went and picked up some more goods for us. Spent... It was around $2,500 for cheap gifts, expensive gifts, and soda cans. Both the cheap and expensive gifts went down in cost. Back to uh, around the levels that we saw to begin with before. However, the soda cans went up considerably. They are now, or at least the box that I purchased, $59 a box. So they've gone up $15 since I first originally bought soda cans so a little bit more we're gonna lose profit off of that obviously but um as you can see got plenty of gifts here so we're, we're pretty stocked up thankfully i think our next step is to take a look and see if we got any more candidates which we did not i don't believe i'm gonna hire sample jakes i could say that pretty confidently at the moment but Hopefully we can get some more candidates at the start of the next day. But for now, let's get back home. Let's rest up. Let's see what we made in profit today. Okay. We made $253.61. Not looking good. And that's without having extra employees. So you can imagine what it's going to be like. If, you know, <laughs> if we have to hire these people, so I guess we'll see. But uh, for now, let's end it right there. I think that's a good stopping point. And uh, on the next video, we will take a look at our new candidates and just hire someone, hire a couple people and, and get shifts covered. So uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. You know, give me a like. Give me a subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas of what we should do, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Mm,